Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. In this uh, interview questions and answers series, we will see how to achieve comma separated values. Let's see the question today. The question is, we have employee table where we have two columns. One is employee name, the other one is employee location. And we have employee and its location. So the employee might have worked in it many different places, right? So for that particular employee, we want to show all the locations with comma separation. For example, if you see here, Adam has worked only at Chicago and Jones has worked at London as well as Dallas and Smith has worked at New York and Scotland. So we can see the values as comma separated here, right? Let's see how to achieve this in SQL. Let's flip back to SQL Server Management Studio and write the query. So let's flip back to SQL Server Management Studio. Let's query the table. So this is the same table which we have seen in the presentation, right? So we here we have Smith, Jones and Adam and we want to show the locations where they have worked with comma separation or in fact any other delimiter like pipe or semicolon etc. So for this we will use XML path. This is the SQL keyword which can be used to derive the output. So what the XML does, XML path does is that it will convert the SQL rows into XML format. For example, we can see for XML path, that's the syntax. So if we execute this, we will get a XML tag, right? This hyperlink. Once you click on this particular hyperlink, it will go to the XML format where we'll have this is each row and this is called a row tag actually. So here it starts and here it ends, right? So this is, if you see the, we have five rows, right? Smith and New York. So the first row is Smith and New York and so on for the other rows, for example, Jones, Dallas. So this is the row. So each row will be formatted into an XML format. Now, what happens? So for this XML path, we can also give, we have by default, we got it as a row, row tag, right? It is by default row. We can also rename this particular row tag. For that, we can say, I want to say employee, right? If we execute this particular stuff, if you click again, it will say employee. So this is the tag name. So we can pass the tag name here. However, it's not mandatory, right? What happens if we just pass empty string? Let's execute this. We got the hyperlink. So it will be as simple as this. So you'll have column name, Smith, and the location of the first employee. So this is the first row, this is the second row, this is third and fourth, fifth. Right, this is how it works. Now, now let's achieve the query. For that, what I'm writing is, I'm just writing a select query, select the first column is employee EMP name, right? This is the first column. So let's execute this. So we got the first column, but we want the distinct distinct employee names. Sorry, distinct employee names. So we got the distinct now. The first column is achieved in the output. We have to derive the second column for that. So I'm deriving the second column. So for the second column, I'll just write the query and then I'll show how we can write it. 
stuff function we have to use and we can write select I want to delimit it with comma so I'm doing the comma hard coding and then I want to concatenate with EMP location that's the column and I want to use the I want to get the values from the employees table and I want to alias it with just B and in outer query I just want to alias it with A and I want to execute the query for every value of the outer query so for that A dot EMP name equal to B dot EMP name usually we will do it on ID for just uh, for reference I'm doing it on employee name right so this is the query now we can use for XML here which will concatenate with commerce operation XML path and I don't want to name the tag now here comes the stuff function so basically I just want to start position one and I want to just remove and replace the first value and then I don't want to add anything to that just the empty string now we can see the stuff function is working fine now I just want to add it as EMP location Now let's see if there are any syntax errors here. Let's parse the query. It says incorrect syntax near here. So we want to see that this is the query where it ends. So let's see if it is working. So yeah, the command successfully completed. Let's execute the query. So let's also execute the table this is the full table and this is the derived query let's execute this so in this case we have Smith who has worked at New York and Scotland so we have New York and Scotland here and the second one is Jones London and Dallas and Adam at Chicago so this is working let's explain the query so in this case what we have done is like the stuff function we have just used to get rid of the the starting comma right and other than that there is no play no major role for this particular stuff function so what happens here it will go it will pick the first smith value and it will it will fetch the new york column so this particular new york value and it will match so it will go ahead and match the first one so it will get the new york one after that in the second iteration it will go and since the john jones is not matching so it will go ahead and, and match the next one that is smith record and it will concatenate with the scotland and other two are not matching so it will ignore this is for this smith record similarly for jones record it will go ahead first in the first iteration it will go and it will go and match it so it will match with Jones again so it comes as London and in the next iteration it will match the Jones and it will retrieve the Dallas right so this is how the iteration happens now since we have achieved the output we can also let's see let experiment it with a couple of other things right we can also write the SQL to XML format see here we have employee and the each row is displayed as XML format now we can also add it as root tag as well I want to say it as employees so let's execute this again and see how it works 
so we have the main tag which is employees so this is starting employees and under employees each row is displayed as this one employee as you can see here I have mentioned the XML root as employees and the other one is employee so each employee is under the employee tags this is the first record second record third fourth and fifth so this is how the XML path works so that's all for today if you have any queries please drop an email to sql.ravimartha at gmail.com and like my Facebook page all the scripts will be available in the description of this video thanks for watching my video have a great day